Hello Cloud Builders and welcome to this first video in a four part series of open source security tools for AWS. In this video, we'll be showing you a tool called Git Secrets that prevents you from committing passwords and other sensitive information to your Git repositories. Let's get started. So in this video, we'll be looking at a library called Git Secrets. Git Secrets is a library provided by AWS that allows you to uh, add git commit hooks to prevent you from committing passwords and other sensitive information to your git repositories. Now there's tons of features beyond the pre-commit hooks um, and we're gonna show you some of them today. We're gonna show you how you can scan repositories or files directly. Um, we're gonna show you how to do the pre-commit hooks to uh, actually proactively prevent you from committing any code with secrets in. And then we're gonna show you how to add custom regexes so you can look for your own patterns uh, in your uh, code repositories as well. Now, one of the things I love about this uh, library is that it has great documentation. So I'd encourage you to come over here at the GitHub page for Git Secrets and take a look through the uh, documentation. It's very comprehensive and gives lots of information on how to install on different operating systems um, and examples and walkthroughs on how you can get started. So I'd encourage you to take a look at that. Now, let's head into the terminal and we'll take a look at how we get it set up. So I'm in my repository here. Um, I have a simple repository here with a single Python file that does some work for me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this uh, git, uh, sorry, first thing I'm gonna use homebrew. I'm gonna brew install git secrets. And this is gonna install this for me on the Mac. If you're not using Mac OS, again, look at the instructions on the uh, GitHub page. You'll see that there's instructions available for Windows and uh, Unix or other Linux operating systems as well on how to get this library installed on your system. So we have that uh, Git secrets in school installed now. And what we can do is we can, uh, in our firstly, in our repository, we need to register a provider uh, that gives us some secrets for us to, or some patterns for us to match against. So this is basically a, a tool that looks for certain regexes in your code and tells you if there's secrets in them. So if we run Git secrets list, you'll see there's no secrets in here. We have an empty list. We have no secret, no patterns that we're looking for at the moment. but what we'll do is we'll run git secrets register AWS, and this will actually register the AWS uh, uh, patterns for access secret keys, account IDs into your, uh, into your, actually it goes into your, um, we can have a look at it here, it goes into your uh, git uh, config file. You can see there's some secret patterns that have been added in here. Um, we can also run git secrets list again and you'll see this repository now has a bunch of secrets available that are being uh, and patterns that are being monitored for using the secrets tool. Uh, interestingly here you can see some allowed secrets so we actually have the ability in Git secrets to allow specific patterns so we can ignore certain passwords or certain patterns that may match some other regex uh, in your in your code. So uh, first thing we're going to do is use the scan command so if we run uh, git secrets scan you see straight away we have this Python file here and we have this uh, notes file here. And you can see straight away that we have some keys in our code here. These are example keys that we uh, uh, that are being picked up by the AWS patents here. So straight away we, we know that our code's not great. We have some secrets in it. So we can run these static scans whenever we want. Now that's great for the current version of the code, but what if historically uh, someone committed some secrets as well? We wanna make sure that our previous revisions of our code as well. And we can run this scan history command which will actually scan uh, historic revisions of our code in our, in our Git repo. And you can see here that this historic revision also had some secrets in it as well. So we need to be careful, not just to look at the, the current version, uh, but to look at the, the previous version uh, as well. So that's well and good doing static uh, scans of your repositories. You can, you know, you can, uh, you can scan certain files. You can just uh, scan this domain.py file not, or, or uh, just my notes file. Uh, here and you can scan certain files independently if you want but where this becomes really powerful in my opinion is using the pre-commit hooks and to do that we need to install git secrets into every single repository that we're working with now you can do this globally uh, using the global flag you can also uh, create git templates that you can use to uh, set up git secrets that you can you choose to deploy which uh, repos have certain templates um, but we're going to just install it manually. So we just do git secrets minus minus install. And we can run minus F here in case there's already any pre-commit hooks there. It will just override any hooks that already exist. 
And what we can see we've done there is we've created a couple of hooks. One is a pre-commit hook that uh, checks your code, pre-commit for any secrets. And the other one actually checks your commit message as well to see if you've put any uh, uh, messages in your, in your commit messages, which is quite interesting. So now we don't need to run scan. We just go for our normal git workflow. Uh, we say git add dot git commit minus m. We've hard coded our secrets in here. We think we're smart. This is a bad practice, by the way. Do not do this. Do not hard code your secrets. Um, but in case anyone does, git secrets is there to help you. Uh, and as we try and do this commit, you can see now actually we're told exactly what files and which line numbers our secrets are and what what we need to care, what we need to worry about in our code. And that uh, that commit is now aborted. We haven't actually been able to commit our code because those secrets are in there. So this is a really powerful way to just configure this across all of your repos and make sure that you're unable to uh, commit code if there's any secrets in your code. So really, really powerful tool and really easy to set up with just a few, uh, just a few commands. So another thing I wanna show you here is that you can use Git secrets to add uh, custom patterns to your code. Now I have a, a, a notes file here um, and you can see um, I have a few things here that say this is a test, password equals example. Uh, etc. Um, so what we're going to do is we want to pick up anything that says password equals. We, we want to make sure people aren't hard coding passwords. So anything that says password equals something, we want to make sure that we're picking up on that. So what we can do is we can actually add our own custom uh, regexes here. So bear with me while I just type this out. But if we use the uh, minus minus add command, we can uh, we can put in our own custom uh, regexes here. So we can look for anything that says password equals, uh, and then we can, when we run a scan against that code or when we do a, a git commit, we can check to see if that is another pattern that's been matched. So we just add this in here. And if we do a git secrets list, you'll see that we have a new uh, pattern here as well, secrets.pattern, and we see our regex there that we just entered. So if we now run git secrets, and we scan our uh, notes.txt file, we can see there's a new line here that's popped up. We can see that our uh, notes.txt in line 12 actually is now picking up that there's a password uh, hard coded in there. So that's, that's, that's another additional feature there of Git secrets that it's not just, can't, it can not only be used just for detecting AWS secret access and account IDs, it can also be used to add any custom regex uh, as well. And your pre-commit hook will uh, look for those as well. Um, you'll see again, we're picking up that uh, that notes file there as well in our pre-commit. So not just when we scan that uh, that Git secrets list, that configuration, then your Git config is uh, persisted across both the scan command for that repo and the, uh, the pre-commit hooks as well. So Git secrets, uh, really uh, short and snappy uh, overview there. There's plenty more that you can look at uh, in the, the documentation here. Uh, we have tons of information on how to um, ignore false positives or to add uh, approved strings uh, into your uh, Git Secrets config as well. So uh, Git Secrets, AWS Lab slash Git Secrets on GitHub, a great repository for you to look at for getting started with improving your security posture and making sure that you're proactively making sure that your uh, secrets and keys and sensitive information are not being pushed to GitHub. So thanks for tuning in and watching this video on our series on open source security for AWS. If you like the content here, please like and subscribe because there'll be plenty more technical content coming on the channel moving forwards.